mind blown. Okay, I literally just figured this out and it sounds completely bonkers, but your phone is actively messing with time, all thanks to Einstein. And if it didn't, your map app would send you into a different country for your morning coffee. I was deep in an internet spiral the other night, you know the vibe, and started looking into how GPS actually works. I always pictured it as pretty straightforward. Your phone chats with a few satellites, they do some quick math, and bam, you're at the right pizza place. But here's the part that just completely fries my brain, the bit they definitely skipped in physics class. Those GPS satellites, they are absolutely hauling, cruising at around 14,000 kilometers per hour. Plus, they're way up there, about 20,000 kilometers above us, where Earth's gravity is noticeably weaker. This is where Albert Einstein, the legend himself, waltzes in from the past to basically make modern life possible. His theory of special relativity explains that because those satellites are moving so incredibly fast, their onboard atomic clocks actually tick slower than identical clocks down here on Earth. We're talking about seven microseconds, that's seven millionths of a second, slower every day. But hold on, because general relativity then throws a curveball. Since the satellites are in that weaker gravitational field, their clocks actually tick faster than ours by about 45 microseconds per day. So you've got time getting stretched and squeezed simultaneously. The net effect? The clocks on those satellites gain about 38 microseconds on us Earthlings every single day. Sounds like nothing, right? An impossibly tiny puff of time wrong. If the engineers didn't constantly correct for this relativistic time difference, the location your GPS spits out would be off by around 10 to 11 kilometers. Every single day. After just one day, it'd think your house was miles away. After a week, who even knows? So yeah, every single time you check your location, you're not just using fancy tech. You're directly experiencing Einstein's theories bending time and space all to make sure you don't accidentally drive off a pier. It's actual rocket science mixed with brain-bending physics just to get you to your destination. Wild.